Hello everyone, my name is Chance Brunton and welcome back to the StarCraft II Wings of Liberty campaign. In the last episode, we led a fleet of battlecruisers to steal an alien artifact, the last piece that we need, to assemble an ancient alien device that supposedly will allow us to transform the Queen of Blades back to her former self, Sarah Kerrigan. Now, in this episode, we will storm the Zerg homeworld, the planet of Char, and attempt to use the artifact on the Queen of Blades. A very dangerous mission, but a very important one, because unless we can turn her back into a human, then we probably will not be able to keep her alive. And if we can't keep her alive, we will all die to the incoming Zelnaga, the Fallen One. So... Let's see what this mission's about, and let's get to it. Everything is in motion to begin the final act. The invasion of the primary Zerg hive on Char. Once we begin, there will be no turning back. Ensure that you are fully prepared, Commander. Destiny awaits. There's nothing else we have to do, so let's push forward. Unto the breach. Soon as it loads. Char, High Orbit, Dominion Battle Group, 1303 local time. Char, if hell ever existed, this is it. Oceans of fire, tectonic storms, and an atmosphere that'll burn a man alive. But we've planned for all of that. You can't plan for the Zerg, General. They ain't gonna fit into your nice clean timetable. This is true. I've led five separate invasions against the swarm. I held the line while you and your terrorist friends hid under a rock. We're all aware of your victories, General. I've invited Commander Raynor here to assist us with any unforeseen contingencies. Well, it sounds like you got it all figured out, Junior. I have far too much invested in this undertaking to see it fail. Speaking of which, you might particularly enjoy this next step. Valeria! I've just received a report you've taken half the fleet. Care to explain yourself, boy? Father, I am about to accomplish that which you never could. Today, I will defeat the Queen of Blades and secure peace throughout the Dominion. By this act, the people will finally know that I am a worthy successor to you. I love your gumption, son, but you're in way over your head. What makes you think you have the experience to- Get alone, Arcturus. Reyna. I don't know what gutter my son fished you out of, but even you've got to realize that treacherous bitch cannot be saved. And neither can you. We'll see about that. And when this is over, you and me got a score to settle. <laughs> Everything I could have hoped for. You're playing a dangerous game here, kid. Admitting that was stupid. It's Valerian. We have Zerg attack waves incoming. Already? Warfield really shouldn't dismiss us so easily. He's got a lot to learn. But hopefully he'll learn quickly. He really doesn't know what we're actually like. He only knows the propaganda. Hey, Bravo, Echo, and Delta have gone dark. Repeat, Alpha all right. has all lost right. contact They're with all out. elements. Where's command? I got no support. I got Sir coming out of my... We're on fire. Repeat, we've lost all thruster power. They're coming out of the ground. Any station this net. Any station this net. We need fire support. Damn it. I told him a frontal assault wasn't gonna work. She was playing with us the whole time. Well, brother, we're alive at least. Looks like the few battle groups that did make it to the surface are scattered all over the place. Do you think death is the worst thing that can happen to you here? Infestation is what's coming for you. Soon all will serve the swarm. 
she's trying to get in our heads, man. We gotta keep it together. If we're gonna pull this caper off, we need to rally as many survivors as we can. Commander, Dominion battle groups are still landing all around you, but they're in pretty bad shape and coming under heavy attack from the Zerg. All right. Let's get out there and rescue their sorry butts. We need to pull together a real fighting force, or we won't have a prayer of stopping Kerrigan. Notice we can see a uh, transforming vehicle, a Viking, in the background in ground mode firing its auto cannons. Mercenaries are even more effective on missions where resources and supplies are limited. Yes. So, now, the invasion has gone very wrong. Warfield stupidly maneuvered their forces in an all-out attack, thinking that Dominion might can overcome absolutely anything, and they were completely wrong about that. And so now, we have to save as many lives What's as we can to try and assemble a force. And we need to protect this spot. If we can't get enough people together, then we will surely die on this planet. Commander, tactical analysis indicates the Zerg greatly outmatch your current forces. Standing by. No kidding. Matt, keep me updated on those drop pods as they get to Char. If we can reach enough of them before the Zerg, we might just have a chance of fighting our way through this. Got a whole lot of love. Right, so it's very important that early on we start assembling a team that can go out and pick up the survivors. We're only going to have a limited amount of time to get whatever survivors we come Sir, down. Sir, tracking an incoming drop pod. It should be landing close to your position any second. All right, that's not too far away. All right, let's get out there and find them before the Zerg do. Uh, let's pull a marine from each bunker. And move them with our main force here. I meant to pull a marine from this bunker, not a medic. Oh, I did pull a marine. Okay. Do we have two medics in this bunker? No. I am totally confused about how I'm loading these bunkers, but it's fine. We're good now. Let's get a couple of fire bats. And can we take out those zerglings in that hydralisk? I think maybe we can. So let's give it a shot. Oh, we lost a medic. That's unfortunate. I'm in and a marine. But we'll be able to get sure several thing. more marines for our party now, Look and they will be extremely helpful. Raiders, Raiders. We sure are glad to see you boys. But where's General Warfield? I'm assuming command here. You men fall in with us, and we'll see to finding your general. Yes, sir. I so love the way you kindle their hope, Jim. By all means. Bring them all to my doorstep. It'll be like lambs to the slaughter. Don't listen to her. Stay focused and we'll make it out of here together. Sir, I've detected a drop pod in your vicinity. Now, here, we're going to get to make use of a building that I really like for defense, particularly in this level, the Perdition this Turret. Uh, I like using it as kind of an Complete. automated doorway. So, it is something we unlocked through the upgrades okay. earlier in the lab. It is a flamethrower turret that hides underground when there are no Base nearby enemies to shoot. Attack. And it is really uh, cool. Ready. Let's move! Is under attack. Hopefully, we should get to see them in action pretty soon, if not immediately. There's the turret, but it's currently burrowed underground. If anything comes close, however, then it will rise up and start attacking something. What do we need more of? We probably need more medics in this composition. And we need more upgrades. Always focusing the upgrades. Not enough energy. As well as building up the defenses, but we really need to concentrate primarily on building up a sizable mobile force. And of course, stocking our bunkers as much as possible. You rang. And as soon as they're ready, Looking we need to start ordering some mercenaries. We should have at least What's one SCV on? on either side of the base to help keep yeah, up with repairs ready. at the very least. And always make sure that we're building up workers. One of the most important things in StarCraft, ready. always build workers. Sending coordinates to a nearby drop pod. That's as true in single player as it is in multiplayer in any game mode. Got any it. challenge. Because resources are key to everything. Now let's see what we can do to fight through the Zerg here. We need more vehicles, definitely. 
Uh, we're getting some vultures in. That's not quite what we need because vultures are very weak. Uh, they're light units. We need tanky things. Vultures will be some good damage. Get this factory back to the landing zone and get it building. I'm on it. But let's be honest here. The vultures are going to run off ahead of the army. I'm going to lose control of them, and they're going to run to their deaths. So that's not ideal. But we can build some heavier buildings like some Thors. And we can summon in the war pigs here. Buff out our army a little bit. And we really need better defenses. We've only got one bunker either side. That is not going to cut it. And we need to finish up building this wall of perdition turrets. I'm going to actually build some extra SCVs on the mineral line. Just so that I can keep pulling them off of the mineral line to come do other things and not be short Base. mining capacity. And we need to clear the way for that factory to land. Perfect. All right, we definitely need some missile turrets. We're lacking significant amounts of anti-air. Uh, we could build some Hell's Angels, which are the mercenary Vikings, which are good anti-air units. But for right now, we're going to hold off on that because they would require more management. Uh, I'm thinking that we should just build turrets. Sir, another drop pod is coming down near your location. What's going? Great. Upgrade All right. complete. Well, let's let's get the turrets yeah. in place. Let's get some mercenary siege tanks in place to do some damage to the enemies attacking our base, and then let's send our mobile army out to go find the survivors. And let's build... Uh, why can't we build Thors? We need an army to build Thors. So let's build some Goliaths and start building uh, the armories we need for our upgrades. As well as finish researching uh, infantry weapons. Then we'll... Once infantry weapons are maxed out, we'll start working on infantry armor. So we should be melting through the Zerg pretty soon. Remember, we only have a limited time to rescue... See that flamethrower action? Wonderful. We only have a limited amount of time to rescue survivors. Now these tanks, we have lots of tanks at base, so I'm thinking we'll keep these tanks that just arrived with our main army. Because they'll probably be more helpful there than anywhere else. What's going on? Oh, what's this? Mayday, Mayday, this is General Warfield. My ship has taken terrible, terrible damage. Pretty sure that's a ringtone. Terrible, terrible dam the terrible, terrible damage line. Warfield, to any Dominion ship in range. My ship is down, and we sustained heavy losses. We're holding position, but we need support too. We're on our way, General. Just hold on. Damn, he can't even hear us. The only way we're getting to Warfield is straight through those Nidus worms. <laughs> <laughs> Some invasion. Now, I don't... I, I, I think oh, I mentioned I before, I don't remember the... the plot very well from the original StarCraft, because I played it... We should it. mobilize everything we've got and try to break through to Warfield. Warfield won't be alive for very much longer. My pets will be drawn to his fear, and that of his men. There's absolutely nothing you can do. You're sure talking a lot, Kerrigan. Maybe the fear you smell is your own. This better be Our good. Our allies base is under attack. Sir, another drop pod has arrived near your perimeter. They are just not giving me a chance to speak. Anyway, I don't, as I think I mentioned before, I don't remember the original storyline very well because I played it a long time ago and I was very young most of the time that I played it and I didn't follow it very well because of that. is under attack. But, this does remind me a little bit of an episode, uh, a, an episode, sure a level in the original StarCraft where we had to rescue, I think, uh, one of the Dominion commanders, uh, trying to remember his name, I think General Edmund Duke. Their power is just what we need. Secure this starport and bring it behind our guns. When he was crash landed on a planet being attacked by the Zerg, and this reminds me a little oh, bit of that because he had his crash landed battle cruiser. And a fun fact: the battle cruiser that he had was the Hyperion. Sound familiar? 
It's the one that we apparently later got. That was a totally wrecked when it crash landed. And we apparently went back for it, salvaged it, brought it back, and uh, got it working. And now it is our ship. But that's where it made its appearance. Uh, as I recall, it used to... I think it used to be the Confederate capital ship. We've got another drop pod landing nearby. Much like the Bucephalus is now the Dominion capital Upgrade ship, apparently. Complete. Or... Upgrade complete. All right. Do we have enough forces? Yeah, if we gather them together, we should. Let's make sure that our upgrades are up to up order. Here. All right. Oh, I did not realize we had managed to pull them. Systems prime. All right. Command authority registered. Well, that's okay. We managed to get out of it, but we are in bad need of some repairs for our guys. Now, there are still going to be drop pods incoming. Job So, we're going to wait around a little bit for them. We need more Vespine gas so that we can get more Thors. If we go around the map, we can still find some more gas pellets and things uh, to be able to flesh out our resources and build more units. And since we have a lot of supply available, and a lot of resources, oh, and it would probably be worth our while to get some gas. more marines. Because marines, again, only cost minerals. So if you're running low on Vespine gas, gas, they're kind of the go-to unit. Oh, allies base? Sir, I read multiple drop pods entering the atmosphere. I don't think you'll have enough time to rescue them all. Not with this much Zerg in the area. <sighs> Damn it. I hate this. We'll rescue as many as we can, but I don't think everyone's going to live through this. Ready uh, for service. No, not everybody is going to live through this, but you know what? We're going to try and rescue as many as we can. Oh, oh, is base is under attack. Who wants some? And so the way I interpret that, we're going to split our forces defeated. fairly evenly, as evenly as possible. Our allies' base is under attack. And we will see if we can take both at once. Our allies' base is under attack. Upgrade so let's see complete. here. What do we need to do this Can't evenly? Wait. Is this divided Engineer fairly evenly? I think it's probably as close as we're going to get. Now we got to be careful because if we're too... Uh, if we engage... Oh crap! The Zerg are moving in! The Zerg are moving in! Go, go, go! Oh. We've, we've lost people in the north. And we're losing them in the south. Ugh. Upgrade complete. Mission failure. We lost everybody. Our we just. Allies base is I think we had the troops to do that, complete. but we just Order did not attack fast right enough. Away. So from here on out, we should keep our forces separated just in case that happens again. Keep and let's sure pick up more spiking. mineral and gas pellets. The gas pellets being particularly useful because we are restricted to mining off of one through. geyser. Although potentially there's another geyser there's down another here. There's another wave of drop pods coming in, sir. It would be too dangerous to try and rescue them all. Engineering at your disposal. Well, Order I am accepted. going to try anyway. Just because that's how we roll. Commander, the last of the Dominion drop pods have reached the surface of Char. Looks like we're on our own, boys. All right. Can I do it? I seem to have done it in the north. Can I do it in the oh, west? Which, uh, by north and west, I mean the top and left of the map, respectively. Yes! We've saved hey, everyone! So on the second wave, at least, we managed to save everyone. If only we'd been a little faster on the first wave, we could have done it there, too. But it's all right. Now all the drop pods are in, so we will recombine everybody down on the mini-map, out front of our base, base about here. Our uh, base and we have a ton of attack. Thors right now. My gosh, we have a ton of Thors. It is astounding. Uh, so I think maybe next we want to get some Goliaths, because we've upgraded those significantly. Our next move will probably be to get this gas Our pellet, and then to take the attack. minerals and gas down here. Although, to be fair, actually, I should probably just push forward, because in all honesty, I probably have enough forces to just steamroll the Zerg right now. So actually, that's what 
we're gonna do. Okay. We're just gonna push forward and do the best we can oh, with what we've got, which is actually a really amazing fighting force. You can see in the upper right hand corner, we have next to our mineral and gas counters a supply counter. Yes, we're at 192 out of 200 possible supply. Okay. That means we're almost oh, at full supply, also known as maxed out. Base is under and attack. when we are maxed out, Upgrade. then we cannot build any more troops. Uh, we can only replace the ones we lose. So that is a Upgrade. pretty good Upgrade. place to be in. We oh, have a massive amount of troops. One might say a death ball. To come here. And uh, there's very little at the moment that the enemy can do to stop us. Oh, they'd have to, uh, they'd have to pull some amazing tricks out of their sleeves to be able to do this. And I'm not even sure that the Zerg have any sleeves. Maybe Kerrigan? I mean, I think she's. Actually, she doesn't even wear clothes. She's just kind of got mutations that cover, cover part of her up, I guess. Or, or maybe she is wearing clothes. I don't know. Uh, but certainly none of the rest of the Zerg are. So how can they have sleeves? Although that would be a really difficult thing for their tailors to have like Zerg and Zerglings and Banelings and trying to fit them up for suits and things. That, oh, gosh, that would be more of a nightmare than just trying to kill them. But at any rate, we are pushing forward. We are very close to the Nidus Worms at the end of the map. We destroy these three Nidus Worms that are highlighted here with the red box. And we win. And we will use the Yumato Cannon of these battle cruisers to help us do that quickly and efficiently. Remember from the last mission, Yamato cannons can do a lot of damage. Uh, of course, with an army this big, it hardly matters, but it's still awesome to see anyway. And now, we have rescued him. With any luck, old Warfield's still alive and kicking. That's a good point. We're assuming that he is still alive. We don't know. But, we have gotten there, and if he's not dead yet, he will be safe. So now, we've gathered together a fairly hefty force, so with or without Warfield, we're in a fairly good position now. That is a lot of ammo. Warfield didn't know hell before, he's certainly seen it now. But man, he's doing really well. He is certainly no coward. down on the job, General. You magnificent son of a bitch. <laughs> You're the last man I expected to see. Boys, I hate to interrupt, but uh, the natives are getting restless. Start the plane! Thanks for the rescue. But I hope it ain't just the two of you. General, you know I've always got a card to play. Those are the Banshees. Powerful tactical strike to the ground. Loads of damage. Can't attack air, though. You might be a damn pirate, Raider, but whatever happens, you've saved my boys today. And I won't forget that. All in a day's work, General. Well, at least we found General Warfield alive and we appear to be earning his respect. 
Planet Char, 1658, Warfield Forward Base. Alright, so now, we're not going back to the Hyperion. This is the final stretch of the game. It's all or nothing on the planet of Char. So our hub of operations has moved another time. Originally, we started in Joey Ray's bar. We quickly went to the Hyperion. We've stayed there most of the game, and now we've got this forward base to work from. And we have access to everything we had before. Well, almost everything. We can't go to the cantina, but in the bottom of the screen, you will see that we have access to mercenaries and news as additional tabs. Also, the archives. Those were buttons that would have been available wandering around the ship. Uh, we've lost access to the Lost Vikings arcade game, but that can be remedied. We can go back for it at a later point, just not right now. When we've beaten the game, we can go back uh, to take a look at that, possibly. And uh, we still have access to armory and research, and these are the guys we can talk to. Just Warfield and Tychus, at least at the moment. So news is flashing. Let's see what that has to say. This is Kate Lockwell reporting live for UNN. Stunning news tonight as massive numbers of Zerg began pulling back to their main hive on the planet Char. While they aren't giving up the worlds they've conquered, most of the aliens appear to be massing near the fiery planet. What can it mean, Kate? We really don't know, Donnie. We'll keep you posted with any further developments. I know what it means. And it ain't good. It means we're in for a world of hurt, as Tychus would say. Lock and load, Jimmy boy. These blasted critters just keep coming. What we got here is the biggest turkey shoot in the galaxy. Hate to spoil all your fun, Tychus. But we gotta start pushing toward the primary hive cluster Prano. That's a tall order, old buddy. Between them nidus worms on the ground and that swarm of flies overhead, we ain't in no position to push against anything. You're always an inspiration, Tychus. At least he's having fun. Where he is right now. How are you holding up, General? Ah, damn poison. I told those pansy-ass medics to lop off my arm so I could get back to the front. Even so, I'm in pretty bad shape. I've decided to hand over all command to you. I understand. I know that ain't easy for you. Easy? <laughs> Son, I'm getting off easy compared to what you got ahead of you. To reach the main hive, you'll have to choose between taking out their ground reinforcements or their air support. There ain't time for both. Don't worry, General. I'll deal with the Zerg. First chance you get, head back to the ship and get patched up. That's an order. All right. So I don't think we have additional options in the armory or research options. Uh, well, certainly we don't have research options because we've already maxed out our research. So that's pretty much everything we can do here, aside from get a glance at... We secured at. our landing zone thanks to you, Commander. General Warfield believes an attack on the primary hive is suicide under current conditions. A diversionary attack to cripple part of the Zerg defenses will give us the opportunity we need. Well, there you have it. We don't, and as you can see, we don't have a choice. This is the only place we can go. But that's getting to be usual now for the later part of the game, and we'll continue to be that way. So in the next episode, we'll choose between taking out the air uh, or the ground support for the Zerg, and that will have an effect on how the Zerg forces are composed in the final mission. So, I, as I recall, there should only be two missions left. This one, and then the final one. So, thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Oh look, I repeatedly spam clicking everything. I get monkeys. So I'm pretty sure... There's a monster back there. Oh, he's right there! Oh, God, I ran the wrong way! I ran the wrong way! Uh oh. That. That. Let's see. Oh. How long can you die so I know? <laughs> oh. Why?